Hi and welcome to Drummer's Review. I'm Nolly and today we're going to be taking a look at a ride and pair of hats from Sabian's AAX Freak series. The AAX series are Sabian's brightest and most modern voiced B20 cymbals, which have typically been very popular with rock, pop and metal drummers for their glassy shimmer. The AAX Freak series features a raw bell and a unique dual lathing process which leaves the inner part of the bow with a rough textured area. The idea behind this approach is to dampen the high frequency response after the initial strike so that the cymbals still sound bright but don't have an uncontrolled sustain. The range started with some highly successful crashes, the 18 inch won the 2013 Sabian cymbal vote, but here we're looking at the 21 inch ride and the 15 inch hats that feature the same treatment. The ride hasn't yet been widely released but we've seen online pre-order prices at around £300. Same goes for the hats where we've seen them purchasable for about £360. Let's check out how they sound and if they live up to the description that Sabian's given them. Visually, the rough textured air of the cymbals is really striking from any distance, plus the dark raw bell makes a strong visual contrast against the warm bronze. With only the tiniest bit of hammering, the cymbals have quite a modern, almost airbrushed look that comes across as pro without conforming to the classic look of high-end cymbals. The much debated new Sabian logo can be found on the underside of the cymbals, and whatever your opinion is on the logo itself, I must say I like how clean the playing surface looks with minimal writing on it. Weight-wise, the hats have a fairly heavy bottom with a medium top, while the ride is definitely on the weightier end of the spectrum, but not as brutal as some stadium-type rides we've come across. Hearing them for the first time, we were impressed. They sound very nice indeed. The hi-hats are glassy, and you almost expect them to be piercing, but then that never actually happens. They're just so crisp and clear. They're not fatiguing to listen to. The fact they're 15s does mean that they don't feel quite as fast on the pedal as smaller hats do, what they lose in speed they make up for in depth, with a body that keeps them from sounding thin when open, and also gives a beefy extra stick definition to the closed sound. The ride is very defined and articulate with a controlled character that prevents the hits from becoming washy. The bell has a great projection, and quite a deep pitch that makes it ideal for cutting through amplified guitars without becoming shrill. Unexpectedly, the ride has quite a nice crash character to it, despite the relatively heavy weight. The pitch is low, but presumably it's this freak treatment that's reducing the zingy overtones that some rides suffer from when crashed, meaning you get the brightness and saturation without shredding your eardrums. In line with their AAX heritage, these are definitely still cymbals with a distinctly modern voice, but that top-end control really makes them stand out within the range, giving them a certain refinement that works extremely well for live and recording work. Pop, rock and funk drummers will be well served by these cymbals, Although for players at the extremes, whether blast-focused metalheads or light-handed jazz drummers, it might be worth looking into the more specialised options in the range. Price-wise, these cymbals cost more or less what we'd expect. They're not the cheapest, but equally you could spend a lot more money on cymbals at this professional level. With that in mind, we think they're absolutely worth auditioning to see how they'd complement your style of playing. Let us know what you think though. We'd love to hear from you, so definitely leave us a comment below. Click on the subscribe button and the bell icon so you can get notifications of our future videos. And we look forward to seeing you next time on Drummer's Review.